So let's have a wee play and see. Let's, if I go for these sets here, and I want to look for the star. I want to have a wee play with the star one. There we go. So let's just bring that one in. And then we will show you how they work. So for this one, I've got my die sets, obviously. They're not going to come like that to you. They will come like this. There you go. So they're going to come like this. They're going to come in our packaging with the... Uh, some ideas and inspiration on the back. But this is how mines are at the moment. So I'm just going to take these ones here and let's just take, I'm just going to use some of our trends cardstock. If you need anything, stock up on anything like that, it's all on our website for you to have a look at. Now let's just have a look, I think. Let's go for, let's go for this pink. I'll go for this real bright pink. I like this one. There we go. Now let's bring in, I'm just using a Gemini Junior for this one. All these dies will go through the Gemini Junior. And some of them, not all of them, not the, the larger ones, but some of the smaller ones will go through the Go as well. But when it comes to the likes of this larger one here, to create that, the Shaker card, that won't quite go through the Gemini Go. But the rest would. Then let's take our cardstock. Let's just cut this down. And let's just show you how to at least start with making a Shaker. So what I'm going to do first, before actually sticking one onto a card or that, let's just show you the shaker effect. So there's a couple of ways that you can do it. So let's just run this through. Cut and plate, plastic shim, magnetic sheet, and then our top cut and plate. And then we're just going to run that through. So this one's going to create the base. And then this is what's going to, um, as I say, it's going to create the base. So you're going to have your shaker elements in between. You could be having acetate on either side, which we'll show you as well. So there we go. So we've got our star die cut like that one. So we'll just set that to the side at the moment. And let's just move that one out of the way. And then let's just take another one. Now this time, now you could do this separately if you're unsure. But as I always say, as long as they're taped down thoroughly, then you've got no worries about them jumping over. So let's just, and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just layering that one inside, and I'm going to tape that one down like that. And then once again, all I'm going to do is just pop that through a Gemini. And then that's what's going to give us the outside border edge. And then that's what's going to hold the acetate on. And then obviously the 3D shaker elements inside that will sit inside. Then let's just pop this one out. So we've got the inside one, we could be using that one for something else. Now there is what we are wanting. So we've got that one there. So if I bring that in, so this is just one of many ways that we can be doing it. So what I'm just going to do now is take the outside die once more and I'm going to cut a bit of acetate. Now you could just freehand cut this, but our Gemini will do it. I am going to use our metal plate with this one. So let's pop that down. I'm going to put our metal plate on. We're going to get a bit of tape and tape that down. What have I done with my additional plates? There we go. We're going to run this through. And then red liner tape. This is uh, a good one to have when you're creating your shaker card. This just makes sure that the acetate stays in place. Wet glue won't work because the glue needs something to dry into. It is obviously acetate, like a plastic effect. It's not going to dry. There we go. So I'm not sure if we can quite see that, but we can... Not, not quite. You're, you're seeing a, a, a glimmer, but we've got that star that's die cut using the acetate as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run... I've taken my outside die. I'm just going to run along with our red liner tape and I'm just going to snip that all the way round and we're going to work all the way round. You could be using your thin tissue tape. That will still work but because it's a shaker card, it is a good idea to use a red liner tape. If you've never used it before, it is a good one to invest in. 
So it's good for making boxes as well, or any construction elements that you're doing. It's good to use the red liner tape. It's available in multiple different sizes, but as you can see, that this one, I think this one must be about three mil, three mil in width, and it works perfectly for these shaker cards. So let's just snip these away. And we're going to pop that one on like so. Now, let's see if I had my poke tool at hand. So let's have a look and uh, let's see. You'll just see my craft bag full of craft stuff. I did have it at the side, but obviously not. So what we'll then do, let's take use the edges of our scissors and we're just going to peel that away each layer. So all you're doing, this is where the pokey tail will come in really handy. But I'm just uh, make doing with, uh, I see it, I see it sneaking into the corner here. So let's bring that in now. There we go. Now let's just peel these bits off. Get that off. And now this is where the acetate is going to stick onto. So you're going to be creating, it's kind of like that cover. So let's just take that off. And you will find these wee bits of backing about for a while. So I've got that there. Let's see if I can bring this on just so that you can see. So there we go. So you can see that now. So I've got my extra bit of acetate. It is die cut. You can just kind of see it. Now all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that on. Now this is where if you're good with your scissors or that, you could have just been sitting this on top of acetate and then just freehand cut it. But you can use your dies as well. So there we go. So we've got our star. And we've got our acetate cover just over the top there. Then what we're just going to do is I'm just going to take some of our shaker foam. And we're just going to do exactly what I've just done a minute ago. We're just going to work our way around. And what you want to make sure is each part, it's right up against that next one. Because what you don't want is any wee gaps for any of your glitter or microbeads or any of your embellishments, anything like that to fall out. So you just want to make sure that it's right up. It doesn't have to be flush, but it does need to at least be butted up against each other. There we go. I think, I really think, I need to think of another word other than butted up joined up together. I think that's maybe a better word, isn't it? There we go. So again, I'm just repeating the same steps that I'd done when it came to the red liner tape. So this is just one way of doing it. So let's pop that up, join that up. Now I know this one's not quite going to be long enough, so let's just move that out of the way. Let's take, is this bit going to be long enough? I think so. There we go. And then hopefully we can see without my hands covering. There we go. I just want to make sure that that's joined up. There we go. So you're not going to see that. That working's on the back there. But there you go. So you've got your 3D foam on the back there. Your foam roll. So your foam pads, you know me by now. You know how much I love my 3D foam pads. These really wouldn't work as well because there's more chance of there being a, a wee join where the glitter or the microbeads, whatever it is that you're using, can fall out. So the shaker foam really is the better one to go by. So I'm just peeling these off. I've obviously got our pokey tool that we could be using as well. I will be sweeping these up at the end here, in case you just think I'm throwing them. Well, I am throwing them, but I will sweep them up. There we go. So we're just getting this last one off. So I think there we go. So we're all good there. Now, all that I'm going to do is I've just taken something like just wee beads here. You could be using anything that you've got in your stash. Then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop them in the centre there. Now, remember, there's many ways we could be using them. We'll, we'll be able to show you another way before we finish. Now, all I'm just doing is I'm just going to layer this back over the top and press. And then there we go. We've now got a freestanding shaker card. So as you can see, so I've done this so it's freestanding on its own. You could be doing that into your card blanks that we've seen. So they really are fun and effective. I really do enjoy uh, 
playing with these sorts of dice, really fun. So then that could just be set in, if that was just a wee skip, uh, card blank, you could just have that sitting on the top, then just maybe a wee sentiment underneath. Really fun, really quirky, we, good way to have it. So we've got that one, then if I think what we could do, let's see, yeah, we'll have time to do it. Let's go for the heart this time. And I'll just show you another quick way in which we can be doing it. So let's actually go for it. Let's go for the balloon. We'll go for the balloon this time. So once again, if I take my cardstock, let's go for a bit of the bright green. We'll go for this one this time. Then what we can do is if I also take a bit of white. We've got a bit of white. Let's just use this one. Here we go. So what we can do is let's bring these in. So if I take my paper trimmer or my guillotine, here we go, we're all at the side here. I just want to trim this down as if it's going to be like a card blank. This is just going to show you another way in which you can use them. So let's pop that out the way, pop that one out the way, and let's bring our plates in. So we're going to pop that on. Now for this time, what we're going to do is we've got a die, we've got our outside die like this one. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'm just going to use the inside die at the moment and let's tape this one down. So let's tape it. So this is just going to show you another way in which you can use the shaker dies. And let's run that through. So it's just our plastic shim magnetic sheet and our top cutting plate. So as that runs through, you can then start to layer this up within the card blank itself. So instead of it being like free, free hand, like we've just done there, it's just another way of doing it. So let's just peel this away really gently. So this is where I should be using my pokey tool. So there's one, and then there's two. So this is actually the bit that we're wanting. Now we've got a free bit. We could be using that elsewhere, but we'll pop that to the side. Then move that out of the way. Now for this one, we're going to cut the outside edge, but we're also going to cut this inside edge. So if I've created border, or if I've created shaker cards without using these dies, some people do ask me, how did you create the border? Now, this is an even perfect way to, to create the border, the outside border, so to say. So there we go, it'll make sense once I've die cut it. So let's run this one through. Again, so let's get the right order. Plastic shim, magnetic sheet, and top cutting plate. And then this one, if we've then got our glue, which we do. Don't, so let's have a look at the glue at the side. You could think I would have all these ones sorted, wouldn't you? Let's have a look. We've got tacky glue, this is what we want. So if we move these out the way, if I bring this back in, we've now got our balloon border to go on the outside. So take in some acetate. So let's move that out the way so you can see. So I've just got a bit of, this is just a bit that I was using a minute ago. So I don't need a big bit. I just need a bit big enough to cover the back. So there we go, we've ended up using the pink on the back. Now what I'm going to do here is again using a red liner tape, I'm just going to work all the way around, like so. So I'm just going to follow that all the way around. The good thing with this red liner tape as well is you can just have it continuously going all the way around, flowing all the way around, just helping it to turn as it goes and then snip that one off and then take a pokey tool so all we're just going to do is peel this off like so and we're just going to place that over the top like that so now there you go so we've got the inside uh, aperture of the balloon we've got acetate in the front and then now what we're wanting to do is just take this outside edge so let's just have a look. I don't need quite as much. So let's just tiny wee bit. I'm going to dab 
just this excess off on my hand because I don't need it all. And then we're going to layer this back up like that. And then we're just going to press down just for that to hold. And this is what's creating the frame, the balloon frame. And therefore your shaker card is actually going to be within the card blank, if that makes sense. I know what I'm trying to say. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. And then, again, all we're going to do is take in our shaker tape. Now, you could, if you want, start to bend it all the way around. But all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a square once again, as long as it's joined up right to the edge so that there's no gaps. Following that all the way around, you're not going to see any of this. And then I'm going to snip that off. So there you go. So we've got no joins in there. You could be adding a bit more foam tape all the way around. What I just want to quickly do is just measure this so that I can cut a card blank or cut a border to go into a card blank. Like so. One and two. Let's move that one out of the way. Then all that we're going to do next is we're just going to put the shaker elements in between, I think. This time, let's do the glitter. Now, you can, if you wanted, put it on the inside, layer that on top, or the other way that you can do it, that I tend to do it, I've just got some glitter here. So I'm just going to pop a wee bit in there. I would use an anti-static bag on the acetate beforehand. I've not got one with me, so I'm not using it but it'll still give you the same effect. Now, I could be using the additional dies that come with it, you know, the, the stars and the balloons and that, the sentiment stamps that come with it, but this is just to give you the idea as to how you can create the shaker cards. So if I layer that on top, press that on, and then there we go, that just then gives you the idea of creating another, or another way of creating a shaker card. So this one is into the cardstock, like that one. So there you go, so you can see that coming all the way around, like so. And then that's just, that could just go onto a border. And then what we could do is just use um, a card blank, pop that on top, like so. Mm -hmm.